Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're working on sixth grade mathematics least common multiple. Ah, yes, the mathematics vocabulary. You need to know this in order to be successful in mathematics, especially for this section, LCM. What does LCM mean? Well, here's least common multiple. What does that mean? Multiples, unknown, equal. Reasoning, verify, factorization, product, algebra, find the LCM, problem solving, greatest, equal. Pull out your composition book where you're starting to create your mathematics dictionary. Look back. There might be some of these words that you already have before, and you can add another example and such. Some of these words are synonyms for others. You need to be able to understand or comprehend what you're reading to be successful in mathematics. Problem number one, least common multiple. Well, what are multiples? A multiple is where you're multiplying something. And when you're looking at multiplying something, when we have just three and five, that's going to be going, well, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm going to say three times one is three. Three times two is six. Three times three is nine. Three times four is 12. See how I'm doing this? And 3 times 5 is 15. Now, if I multiply 5 the same way, there's 5, 10, and 15. I can stop because that is right here is the least common multiple. So I would write out LCM for least common multiple equals 15. Sometimes the LCM is when you just multiply the two numbers together, but that's not always the case. Let's take a look at number two. So we're going to go through and we're going to just multiply this out again. Six. Two times six is twelve. Three times six is eighteen. Because of my mathematic knowledge, I know I don't need to go any farther because put down nine. Two times nine is eighteen. There's my least common multiple. Let's continue here for nine and fifteen. One of the things I want to make sure that you understand is that multiples, and I'm going to spell it multiples, of and so multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. And all I'm doing is just 1 times 9, 2 times 9, 3 times 9, 4 times 9, 5 times 9. And again, with my knowledge of the multiplication tables, I'm able to stop right here because I know that 15, 30, and 45 are the first three multiples. And there's my least common multiple right there. It's 45, so I put down LCM equals 45. But wait, look at this next one. There's three numbers. Well, you have to just find the LCM for all three. And you just put out the multiples for five. So let's see here, five. And that one's gonna be equal to five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. For 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. And you may be asking, why is Mr. Wood stopping at 40? Well, I have memorized my multiplication tables. Here we go. So I'm going to say 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So the LCM equals 40. Here we have instructions right here. Always look for the instructions. Use reasoning algebra. Write the unknown number four, and there's that question mark. So over here says LCM is this here to get to the LCM. Well, I'm going to be sitting here just going, well, I'm going to do 12, 24, 8, 16, 24, and then 24. So the LCM equals 24. Now, did I need to use algebra for this? Maybe, but I knew that I needed to find this, this here. That's just unknown. And the only way to do that is to go through and create the multiples for each of these numbers. We have something different over here. We have this question mark here. So instead of a question mark, I like using X. I have X and 6. That's what I'm trying to find for X. And I have 6. I have an LCM of equals to 42. Now, what I could do is to just be rapid, just say, well, let's just say 42 and 6. And I know that 6 times 7 is 42. I can just 
plug that in and just do it that way. Or I can come out here and say, well, there's 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and 42. And there's other numbers I can plug in here. Is it 7 or is it 3? It can't be 3 because it'd be 3, 6. No. So 3, I have 6. I immediately get it there. So what's the next number? 8? No, that doesn't work because nothing times 8. It's going to do that, but it does get me 24 here. So the next number is going to be 7. And that's 14, 21, 35, and 42. That is the only number that it could be. So now I can go back and say that the that x or that question mark is equal to 7. Least column of multiple. Now let's look at a, a word problem with this. It says here, verify the reasoning of others. What does this mean right here? Verify the reasoning of others. I'm going to come back to that. Let's read this. Mr. Woods is shopping for a school picnic. Veggie burgers come in packages of 15 and buns come in packages of 6. He wants to serve veggie burgers on buns and wants to have no items left over. Mr. Woods says that he will have to buy at least 90 of each item since 6 times 15 is equal to 90. Do you agree with his reasoning? Explain. I don't. And the reason is because we're looking for the least common multiple and all he did was just factor it out here. So 6 times 15 is equal to 90. I mean, that's one way to do it. And it does give you an answer. However, if we look for this least common multiple, we can get something different. So I'm going to start with 15. So I'm going to do 15, 30. And I'm going to stop because I'm looking here going, well, wait a minute. 6. I look at this. 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. There's my LCM right here. So the LCM is 30. So I can explain it, and I would explain it something like this. To find the least amount Mr. Woods would have to buy for each item, we would have to go through and go, wait a minute, we need to find out what is this here. So we have 30 and 30, so it's going to be two packages of burgers, and one, two, three, four, five packages of buns. That's all he needs to buy if he wants to have nothing left over and not have to buy so many. Here's our next worst problem. And many times it's going to be where you're just going to be looking at it going, oh, okay, I just need to find an answer. But wait, there's other types of word problems where it's multiple pieces that are being asked. Let's review this. Sophia is making hair clips to sell at the craft fair. To make each hair clip, she uses one barrette and one pre-cut ribbon. The barrettes are sold in packs of 12, and the pre-cut ribbons are sold in packs of nine. How many packs of each item does she need to buy to make the least number of hair clips with no supplies left over? First thing is, is what information are you given? Next is what problem are you asked to solve? And finally, show the steps to solve the problem. So let's go back and reread this and pull out some important information. Sophia is making hair clips to sell at the craft fair. To make each hair clip, she uses one barrette and one pre-cut ribbon. That's for each one. The barrettes are sold in packs of 12, and the pre-cut ribbons are sold in packs of 9. How many packs of each item does she need to buy to make the least number? So this is the least number of hair clips with nothing left over, so no supplies left over. What's given? I'm going to say barrettes. That's going to be packs of 12. And ribbons are in packs of nine. The next question. What are you asked to solve? You're asked to find out what are the least number of packets of barrettes and ribbons that Sophia needs to buy so that there's nothing left over. If I was writing this up, I would put it in a complete sentence. What is the least number of packs of barrettes and ribbons does Sophia need to buy with no supplies left over? Right here. Right out of this information here. I got the barrettes and the packs and such. So it says each item right here and I just filled it in with ribbons and barrettes right there. So all the information is in here. You just have to be able to comprehend it and bring it down and write this sentence. Next, show the steps to solve the problem. Well, we're trying to find the least common multiple of these packages of barrettes and ribbons. So we have 12 and 9, set it up just like this, and then we just go through 12, 24, 36, 
I know I can stop because I know my multiplication table for 12s and 9s. 9, 18, 27, and 36. There's our least common multiple. So the LCM equals 36. But wait, is that the answer to it? No. We're going to need to have 1, 2, 3 packs of reds. So I'm going to say B is equal to 3. And R, the package of ribbons, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, go back and do it like this. Write up a sentence that says, Sophia will need three packages of barrettes and four packages of ribbons to make 36 hair clips in all with no supplies left over. If you're unsure about some of the mathematics that I've shown here or the terminology, please go back into my YouTube channel here. Do a search on one of the terms because most of the time I went through and I looked at all the vocabulary I used. I put that as a keyword or something in there for the search and you can go in there and find exactly what you're looking for. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Create your mathematics dictionary where you can write down words definitions, and have examples. Thank you for watching Mr. Wood's Teaches. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Watch me correct my mistakes on TikTok at Mr. Wood's Teaches. Till next time, remember to be a math person. All you have to be is a person that does math.